Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the intro. Here is Tiamat and I, who would like to get acquainted with the glitch that unfortunately speaking will be part of the future on the game. The purpose of the video is not to showcase how it is possible to be done, or how it, it can be further improved. Rather, it simply want to, wants to be an occasion to show you the visual implications that there are when the glitch is going to be performed, and what you can do to defend yourself from it. The video will be divided in three categories. The first one will be the showcase of all the visual implications before the actual moves of top glitch. The second one will showcase the tools that you may use against it. And the third one will be only the parametrical value on how much defense you can stack in order to preserve yourself from it. But let, let me allow to give some generic rules that work for this case, uh, but also work for any other scenarios. This is a glitch that will kill you in one go, for the reason of the premeditation from the person who's doing it, who's going to buff himself in order to make it stronger. The video will not showcase how it's possible to, uh, to reach that state, and the only concern is only to showcase how to defend yourself from it. And in order to be performed, your opponent needs to stop attacking you, and suspiciously swap to a weapon which will then disappear and then he will start doing attacks in the air randomly whiffing or with other keys that you may see. This has to be your first indication that something is wrong to which you need to sharpen your eyes as if what's following is either a six sword or a katana as the buff can have access to a stance ash of war it is highly possible that the glitch is going to come into first and you want to be prepared. I will also state the obvious which is that there are so many differences of how many ways this glitch can be performed that it is impossible to cover them all in one video. But maybe the general rules may apply to all of them. Without further indulge, let's have a look at the movesets. Now, with all the variants that there are, the cues will remain the same. The most easy to recognize will definitely be the R1, as it's the most telegraph attack in the game. But unfortunately speaking, things are not that easy, because there are cues that are more difficult to recognize, such as the running attack, the crouch attack, the rolling attack, out of a roll, Out of Anestis, out of any consumable, out of a crutch, Out of a back step, luckily speaking, jumping or jumping attacks uh, are not cues for it, thankfully, at least two of them. It should be clear at this point when somebody resorts to using this sort of glitch against you in order to kill you. You should use anything at your disposal to defeat him. Let's take into account that the reverse of what is being used right now as a total animation, as a total frame of the double slash of 11 frames. It means that any iframe that's above it is safely able to roll through it. But the best options will always remain for the capability to remain in iframes, get counter it, but at the same time also getting close to it, which is what you want in order to punish him and make sure you get your kill, will always remain blood on step, dynasty finesse, Raptor of the Miss. and quick step. Endure is not recommended as the push box may not allow you to punish him. Yes, you could roll it, but you're not playing for fairness. And at this point, you'd be better to use moves that have synergies with both rolling and balance step. In this case, the PSGS, if we have to name one. Let's take into account that the ball crab will be the best single item for defending yourself against this pop. And be mindful that the more you buff yourself, so will your opponent try to one-shot you. The conclusion so far is that the rock pop will not one-shot you with ball crab and opening hardware, but it will with shield talisman and opening hardware. 
If instead you have opened the archer and the shield talisman and boil crab, it will one shot you if your opponent does the same with buffs. And if you remember the intro well, you should already know that the Undoggers will break the bubbles from the uplifting aromatic. But maybe at this point the uplifting aromatic can be used to protect the shield talisman. Unfortunately speaking, this video cannot cover more than it has already done, as the combination of weapons that there are can create some scenarios that cannot be covered in an entire video. Try to be prepared. I hope that this video helped, and I hope that maybe in the future you will remember this if you somehow manage to defeat some of these jungers and let me know in the comments. I would like to thank Tiamat for the help during the recordings and the suggestions towards the scenography and the writing of the, of, the, of the entire video. I would like also to give a shout out to Restless and Walt Dixon for the help in gathering information. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and maybe leave a like and a comment. I would like to know what you think. Be also sure to check the person that I mentioned, I will leave some links in the description. And feel free also to join my Twitch. I stream from time to time and we have some cool shenanigans. That being said, take care. And I hope to see you in the next video.